April 18th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 37 and 38 from the Old Testament. Do not fret when wicked men seem to succeed. Do not envy evildoers, for they will quickly dry up like grass and wither away like plants. Trust in the Lord and do what is right. Settle in the land and maintain your integrity. Then you will take delight in the Lord and he will answer your prayers. Commit your future to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will act on your behalf. He will vindicate you in broad daylight and publicly defend your just cause. Wait patiently for the Lord. Wait confidently for him. Do not fret over the apparent success of a sinner, a man who carries out wicked schemes. Do not be angry and frustrated. Do not fret. That only leads to trouble. Wicked men will be wiped out, but those who rely on the Lord are the ones who will possess the land. Evil men will soon disappear. You will stare at the spot where they once were, but they will be gone. But the oppressed will possess the land and enjoy great prosperity. Evil men plot against the godly and viciously attack them. The Lord laughs in disgust at them, for he knows that their day is coming. Evil men draw their swords and prepare their bows to bring down the oppressed and needy and to slaughter those who are godly. Their swords will pierce their own hearts and their bows will be broken. The little bit that a godly man owns is better than the wealth of many evil men. For evil men will lose their power, but the Lord sustains the godly. The Lord watches over the innocent day by day, and they possess a permanent inheritance. They will not be ashamed when hard times come. When famine comes, they will have enough to eat. But evil men will die. The Lord's enemies will be incinerated. They will go up in smoke. Evil men borrow, but do not repay their debt. But the godly show compassion and are generous. Surely those favored by the Lord will possess the land. But those rejected by him will be wiped out. The Lord grants success to the one whose behavior he finds commendable. Even if he trips, he will not fall headlong, for the Lord holds his hand. I was once young, now I am old. I have never seen a godly man abandoned or his children forced to search for food. All day long he shows compassion and lends to others, and his children are blessed. Turn away from evil, do what is right then you will enjoy lasting security. For the Lord promotes justice and never abandons his faithful followers. They are permanently secure, but the children of evil men are wiped out. The godly will possess the land and will dwell in it permanently. The godly speak wise words and promote justice. The law of their God controls their thinking. Their feet do not slip. Evil men sit and ambush for the godly and try to kill them, but the Lord does not surrender the godly or allow them to be condemned in a court of law. Rely on the Lord, obey his commands, then he will permit you to possess the land. You will see the demise of evil men. I have seen ruthless evil men growing in influence like a green tree grows in its native soil, but then one passes by and suddenly they have disappeared. I looked for them, but they could not be found. Take note of the one who has integrity, observe the godly, for the one who promotes peace has a future. Sinful rebels are totally destroyed, evil men have no future, but the Lord delivers the godly, he protects them in times of trouble. The Lord helps them and rescues them, he rescues them from evil men and delivers them, for they seek his protection. O Lord, do not continue to rebuke me in your anger. Do not continue to punish me in your raging fury, for your arrows pierce me, and your hand presses me down. My whole body is sick because of your judgment. I am deprived of health because of my sin, for my sins overwhelm me. Like a heavy load, they are too much for me to bear. My wounds are infected and starting to smell because of my foolish sins. I am dazed and completely humiliated. All day long I walk around mourning, for I am overcome with shame and my whole body is sick. 
I am numb with pain and severely battered. I groan loudly because of the anxiety I feel. O oh Lord, you understand my heart's desire. My groaning is not hidden from you. My heart beats quickly. My strength leaves me. I can hardly see. Because of my condition, even my friends and acquaintances keep their distance. My neighbors stand far away. Those who seek my life try to entrap me. Those who want to harm me speak destructive words. All day long they say deceitful things. But I am like a deaf man, I hear nothing. I am like a mute who cannot speak. I am like a man who cannot hear and is incapable of arguing his defense. Yet I wait for you, O Lord. You will respond, O Lord, my God. I have prayed for deliverance, because otherwise they will gloat over me. When my foot slips, they will arrogantly taunt me. For I am about to stumble, and I am in constant pain. Yes, I confess my wrongdoing, and I am concerned about my sins. But those who are my enemies for no reason are numerous. Those who hate me without cause outnumber me. They repay me evil for the good I have done. Though I have tried to do good to them, they hurl accusations at me. Do not abandon me, O Lord. My God, do not remain far away from me. Hurry and help me, O Lord, my Deliverer. God, today I just want to pray for everyone who is tormented, like we see in Psalms 38. That if they're not Christian, and they're tormented by sins that have happened in their life, that I just want to share the incredible news with them that they can come to you. They can accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. They can confess their sins. They can state that they know that on the third day Jesus rose from the dead and ascended into heaven and is with you. They can ask you to help them walk a life where they learn about what this relationship with God really means. They can cry out to you right now and they'll be flooded with forgiveness. For people who are Christians and are feeling that same way, God, I just pray grace over them. They already have this process. Jesus has already died for their sins. I just want them to know that his death wasn't in vain. That no matter what they have done, no matter what they have done, the worst possible thing you can imagine in the entire world doesn't matter what they have done. That if they truly confess to you the sin, with their heart and with their mind that you will forgive them and not only will you forgive them but you will walk with them as they work on removing that sin from their life because for Christians it doesn't quite work to just say yeah hey I'm sorry about that sexual sin and then do it the next day habitual sin kind of completely different than actually wanting to change God, I just pray for everyone who is holding on to sin and making their lives miserable when all they have to do is turn to you. I just think of all the times that I held on to my sin and frustrated myself, felt so guilty over and over again. And the whole time of my selfishness, of wallowing in my own grief, you had all these things that you wanted me to do to help with your kingdom. And yet I was so wrapped up in my own world of guilt because of my sin that I couldn't even see anything. I definitely couldn't see the cross. I definitely didn't see a way out of it. So God, today I just pray for everyone who's listening. There is a way out of that that horrid cycle and it is Jesus Christ his death on the cross he took on the sin of the entire world and that includes the sin of you who is listening right now it doesn't say he only took on these certain sins because they were sort of okay it doesn't say he took on these sins because they were forgivable it said he took on all sin 
That includes whatever you have done. He will forgive if you ask. God, I pray for anyone who is in torment right now. That your grace finds them. That your love wraps around them. And your mercy just floods them. I love you very much. Amen.